अपग्रेडिंग टू लिनिक मिंट ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट टू इज इट वर्थ इट अ डीप डाइव इन टू द अपग्रेड पाथ फॉर लिनिक्स मिंट ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट टू इज अंडरटेकन एक्सप्लोरिंग विदर द न्यू फीचर्स एंड इम्प्रूवमेंट्स जस्टिफाई द ट्रांजिशन फॉर करेंट यूजर्स द प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लीकेशंस एंड बेनिफिट्स फॉर डेली यूसेज आर केयरफुली कंसिडर लिनिक मिंट ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट should you upgrade before you click that update button and potentially mess up your perfect setup you need to watch this i'll break down the biggest changes the hidden gems and the potential pitfalls so you can decide if it's truly worth your time and effort is your current linux mint system feeling a little sluggish or missing out on the latest advancements you might be wondering if linux mint 22.2 is the answer but an upgrade can be commitment right i'll show you exactly what problems linux mint 22.2 solves and help you understand if making that smart move for your specific needs the current state of linux mint why upgrade if you're running linux mint 21.3 right now you are probably pretty happy with it it's stable user friendly and has served as a reliable daily driver for millions of users since its release based on ubuntu 22.04 it offers long term support until 2027 which means security updates and bug fixes keep coming without much hassle but let's be real tech moves fast some folks on older versions like 21.3 might notice minor annoyances such as outdated kernel support for newer hardware less optimized graphic drivers or missing modern features like seamless fingerprint login or better vlan integration if you are dealing with sluggish performance on newer intel gpus or if you want tighter integration with mobile devices for things like node syncing this could be pain points pushing you towards an upgrade linux mint 22.2 builds on the foundation of mint 22 velma which shifted to ubuntu 24.04 bringing fresher underlying tech that could breathe new life into your setup so if your system feels a bit dated or you are eyeing better compatibility and efficiency this could be the nudge you need linux mint 22.2 the game changing features linux mint 22.2 code named sara isn't a massive overhaul but it packs some thoughtful updates that make it feel polished and modern one stand out is a new fingwit app which adds native support for fingerprint authentication finally you can log in with a quick scan on supported hardware ditching passwords for everyday unlocks that's a wow moment for security conscious users imagine booting up your laptop and getting straight to work without typing a thing the sticky notes app now syncs with android devices so your reminders follow you from desktop to phone seamlessly under the hood there is the linux kernel 6.14 for better hardware support especially improved compatibility with intel arc gpus on older cpus like alder lake or raptor lake no more glitches or sub optimal performance there mesa 25.0.7 graphics drivers enhance gaming and video playback while cinnamon 6.4.8 brings ui tweaks like refined themes and a smoother vlan session for those ditching x11 other gems include updated software packages better power management for laptops and small refinements in the file manager and settings panel these aren't flashy but they are built on ubuntu's latest libraries ensuring broader app compatibility and security patches until 2029 now the upgrade path smooth sailing or treacherous water upgrading to linux mint 22.2 depends on where you are coming from If you're already on Linux Mint 22 or 22.1, it's straightforward. Open the Update Manager, refresh for updates, and look for the 
Upgrade to Linux Mint 22.2 Sera option under the Edit menu. It will guide you through, but always back up first with time shift. Create a system snapshot just in case. Update any cinnamon spices like applet or themes via system settings to avoid conflicts. The process usually takes 20 to 40 minutes, followed by a reboot. For users on 21.3, you will need to upgrade to Linux Mint 22 first using the Mint Upgrade tool. Start by upgrading your system fully. Then install the tool with commands like apt update and apt install mint upgrade. Run it, follow the prompts to switch repositories and handle any package conflicts. It might flag things like third party PPS or incompatible software. So remove or resolve those. Common pitfalls include interrupted downloads due to server load, especially right after release, kernel mismatches causing boot issues, or hardware quirks like Wi Fi not detecting post upgrade. Tips for success Use a wired connection if possible, disable any custom repos temporarily, and have a live USB ready for recovery. Some users report smooth sales but others hit snags with foreign packages or graphical drivers. Check forums if issues arise. Overall, it's designed to be user-friendly, but patience is key. Daily driver impact. Real-world benefits. So how does Linux Mint 22.2 feel in everyday use? For daily tasks, the kernel and Mesa updates mean faster browsing, and smoother multitasking. Web pages load quicker, and apps like Firefox or LibreOffice feel snappier compared to 21.3, especially on mid range hardware. If you are on Intel based system, the GPU fixes could boost video editing or light gaming by 10 to 20% in benchmarks, as seen. Multitasking shines with better RAM management. Switching between a dozen tabs a code editor, and a video call is less laggy. A-B comparisons On the same machine, Linux Mint 21.3, my stutter on 4K video playback, while 22.2 handles it fluidly thanks to updated drivers. Fingerprint login saves seconds per session, adding up over time. And Sticky Note Sync is a productivity booster. If you are juggling devices, hardware compatibility is strong. Most laptops and desktops from the last decade should see gains, though very old rigs might not notice much. On the flip side, if your setup is rock solid on 21.3, the changes might feel incremental rather than revolutionary. Now, the verdict Is Linux Mint 22.2 your next OS? Wrapping it up, Linux Mint 22.2's pros are clear. Enhanced security with longer support to 2029. Practical features like fingerprint support and node syncing. Better hardware compatibility and subtle performance tweaks that make daily computing more efficient. It's especially worthwhile if you're on hardware that benefits from the new kernel or if you want the latest Ubuntu base for app stability. Cons The upgrade can be time consuming, with potential hiccups like package conflicts or brief downtime. Plus, if you are not facing issues on 21.3, why rock the boat? My recommendation upgrade if you are a power user craving modern features or dealing with hardware quirks. Stick with 21.3 if stability is your top priority and you're not in the rush. For most folks, it's a solid yes. Linux Mint keeps getting better without overwhelming changes. What do you think? Have you upgraded yet? Drop your experiences in the comments below and hit that like and subscribe for more Linux tips. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.